And whether we went plastic, aluminium, which was an option at the time, or compostable, and it was very clear that the only way to do it was to back the compostable technology that is still, um, I believe, forms the basis of a real kind of sustainable future. Volcano was founded in 2010 by Kurt Stewart. Um, he then um, partnered up with one of his best mates, Olaf, and his wife, Emma. And he decided that instead of just roasting up in Portobello Market and, and being a chef, he wanted to really make a go of it. So set up in West Norwood and grown ever since from there. At the time we started thinking about pods, we recognised that there was no point just jumping on the bandwagon and chucking some coffee in a pod. We actually really wanted to reflect what our brand meant because that was the whole point of the exercise, right? To grow the business in a, in a more diverse direction. Well, we believe as a company that the compostable tech is actually where the future is if it gets creates enough demand. So I think by being a part of the, offering a solution that kind of grows a pathway towards that, the better. It's a 100 bio-based cornstarch material, which means that it's totally renewable and it doesn't leach anything into the environment. And it, the, the, the levels of methane that it puts out into the environment as it does decompose is quite minimal, right? Specialty coffee is not only just a grade, it's actually a mechanism which allows more smallholder farmers to benefit from buying relationships. Things about pods is there's like not much coffee in them, 5.5 grams let's say, which, and I assume that when people are drinking them they want to experience something quite close to an espresso. So you have to be very careful about how the coffee you choose in terms of um, having perceived strength. So we have got a bold range, we chose a Colombian coffee there. We found that the acidity in Colombian coffee was it translated well. We've got a balanced range, which we use in Brazil. Brazilian coffees are like typically chocolatey, so we chose that to be our like kind of everyday balanced coffee. And then the reserve coffee is the next step in the journey towards experiencing real high-end, unique coffee. So we've put a naturally processed Guatemalan coffee. The actual Holy Grail is to find a material that has properties which enable shelf life and structural integrity whilst being able to um, compose at home. We're hoping that 2019 will bring the next evolution for that and then from there I don't really think anyone's got any other excuse.